Dave's under, folks. He's under. Unplugged. Unsuccessful. Or it's Singapore, Johor Bahru, or... I'm just bought a boat. Really, I need to get my boat from Thailand to Malaysia, and Marcus needs to get from Malaysia to Borneo. All right, so now that the plan is to bicycle up to Thailand, we lose our fear of what we're used to. After about 120 some odd kilometers today, I made it back to Napo Eco Farm. And after over a year, back here at the farm, let's see what's changed, if anything. same people are here. My buddies from uh, Bangladesh and Myanmar. Charles and Kin. Lots of good peeps. A surprising lot has changed. There's a lot more stuff growing. Everything's just a lot bigger. So the views have changed and unfortunately my good pal Susu the dog is no longer. I guess he got sick and died which you could see coming. He, didn't, he wasn't too healthy when I was here last time. He's always dealing with tons of ticks on his body. I spent so much time trying to pull those ticks out of him. Well, I did. I pulled like hundreds of ticks off of him, but the next day he'd have more. It's tough to see Susu gone, but uh, it's good to be back on the farm. It's a beautiful spot. It's been a really hot day. I'm glad I haven't been cycling today. Just did some laundry, cruised around the farm a bit, caught up on uh, online a bit. Been exploring, checking out the farm. Good times. <laughs> Weather I don't know, something about this just seems wrong. When you leave Malaysia, this is what they say. See you again, bon voyage. They don't even use any of the three like most popular languages here. Bahasa Malay, Chinese, or Mandarin or Hokkien, and uh, Hindi, I guess would probably be the third most common. Ooh, look at those guys. Selamat tinggal Malaysia. Sabai di Thailand. Well, I made it across the border into Thailand. It was one of the most annoying border crossings because I had to wait in line up with all the bus passengers for like an hour. I'm sure there's like a line up there all day long. I don't understand why they don't just have another couple of security guards or something. I probably could have just bicycled right through the border, but then I wouldn't have a stamp in my passport. So I'm not going to do that. Just going to use an ATM here and then find some pad thai or something tasty to eat. I'm in Thailand. Selamat tinggal Malaysia. Sampai jumpa lagi. Sawa di krap. Thailand, Tata Nida Krap. <laughs> Thailand! A lot busier on the Thai side than it is the Malaysian side. For some reason, there's not as much money in Thailand. Hmm.
I just stopped here at the side of the road to get some coffee and they brought out some amazing cake and told me they have this homestay here that they've just set up. It's a beautiful spot. Had some coffee and a delicious cake. And now they want me to plant two papaya trees. What an honor. Where to? <laughs> you want? You want? You want? And, and take? Okay. Great. Mm -hmm. It's my uh, second day in Thailand here and I just stayed at this nice little place behind me because some people met me on the road and offered me a place to stay. Yosa Chai Phan Bi? That's the name of the place? This area? Got my bike ready. And my lovely hosts here. Yosa Chai Phan Bi, They're really accommodating and awesome and before I left they passed me a bunch of flowers to have in my pocket so that I can smell them as I cycle and probably just smell better. So I'm stoked. Time to get riding. I did about 100 kilometers yesterday. Probably going to do a similar amount today. Uh, getting a pretty early start. It's about 6.30 in the morning. My friend. Time to go. What are your names? Yosachai. 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 Penny. Penny? Penny. Penny, you're a child. 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 You